I'm, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. I got a booster yesterday. I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh, no. I don't know. That might not have been time. I think it was time. I mean, the guy said it's okay. I mean, I lied to get it, but he's... You told him you were 65? Yeah. <laughs> Come on in, old man. I meant more you're going to be down today. I don't want to see you, mm -hmm. you know, Please. falling asleep in a commercial break and we're shaking you awake. <laughs> I don't know it's, if it's... Just my seasonal affected disorder, which we mm. talked about yesterday, mm. which I have, which is going to make my head hurt with my eye roll. <laughs> or <laughs> if it's the fact that I got the booster, I did lie. I did say I was over 65, which they had no trouble believing. Smart. Thanks. Got the Moderna yesterday. And you have diabetes, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> just bank on it. They just mm -hmm. assume it. You don't tell them opposite. Mm -hmm. And they call you yeah. right over. Hypertension? It. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no one's going to ever question anything when I show no, up. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what do you got? Uh, you're fat, clearly. Yep. <laughs> Bring me all the needles. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Should we give you a double dose? Sure. Good one in here. I was uh, quizzing the pharmacist on whether or not we should mix and match vaccines and that kind of stuff. He was really, really nice. I liked him. It was a different one than I had the first time around or the second time around. And he said that there's a study out of the University of Virginia, Wahoo Wah. Thank you. That's Chris Dim's sort of <laughs> school. He never, never went there. Never went there. Never went there, but I do pull for it. It's like the University of North Carolina for me. Hmm. That's one of my pretend alma maters. There are so many. Mm -hmm. There are so many that I have that I really didn't go to that I say I went. I say I went to UNC. Nonetheless, this guy said out of, the, out of Virginia, they're doing a study on all coronaviruses. And they've isolated one protein that's in all of them. And this is the first time they've been able to, I don't know, they've identified a protein that's common with all of them. If they can develop a vaccine that'll knock out that one particular protein, then you can go to just one shot for your life and you'll be good. Really? Huh. Yeah, but we're years away from that. Yeah. But he said it was an intriguing article that he read on it recently. And he said that uh, I, you know, I, I specifically went to a pharmacy that I don't usually go to because it has Moderna. And because uh, I got Moderna the first time around and I asked him if I had gone to Pfizer, would it have been bad? And he said, no, he said, you know, everything he reads says hmm. you can mix and match and you're just fine. You know, hmm. as long as you get something, you he didn't sell this with screaming going on in the next room, right? <laughs> you didn't have to drive to the bad part of town. Did you? I won't say I'm not going to say, <laughs> were you terrified? No, it was, it was, I went, I went in the, uh, certainly in broad daylight, <laughs> I'll just say that. Okay. I'll just say that, and I wanted to make sure. I'm here for Moderna. <laughs> I just raised my hand for Moderna. Went in there and got it. Mm -hmm. That's right. So I got the booster. But I did feel my arm Which is arm? sore. Right. And it's really sore. And he said, he said, you'll probably have no side effects at all except a sore arm. And then you can take, you know, Tylenol if you want, if you do have any problems. Okay. I do feel a little sluggish, you know, a little tired. That's, That's how I felt after my second one. Mm -hmm. I, I never got the sickness that some people got, but I mean. I slept for a whole day. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm worried about you. Yeah. At any given time, just falling asleep. It's possible. I almost put you to sleep. Yeah. What was I talking about yesterday where you almost went to sleep? Pickleball. 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 Yeah. I was. Uh... Is pickleball night tonight? Yes. And that's another thing I want. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Oh, Lord. Not easy. You know, I've got, I'm, I'm running all over the place today. Yeah. Right before the program began, I got a message from a longtime P1 who mm -hmm. said that uh, Tim R said that. I guess he was up real early, and he mm -hmm. said that uh, the CBS Sports Network was showing pickleball. Yeah, pickleball championships. I should have recorded that. If I'd known that was on, I would have recorded that. Could you see yourself there in, in a year or two? I want it so badly I can't Could even you really it. focus in? Do you think you and the Diesel really focus in and What's say we're going to be? Use nowadays, oh, oh, What's the, Manifest it. Manifest it, That's yes. the word. What's, I've heard so many young people use that phrase. Yeah, I love young people for using that phrase because they have no clue how bad life really is. Yeah. <laughs> What's the age limit on it? That's the question. I don't know. I, I may be too old for it. I had a guy come up to me at a recent pickleball tournament. He's 56, and he said, if I was 30, I would work to be in a pickleball national championship. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be in the world games. So they're saying it's a younger man's game still. Well, I mean, the young guys, when I go to these tournaments, the young guys, they're so much faster, and they're just, you watch them play, and it's like, wow, it's a different mm -hmm. kind of game. I mean, you know, I don't know. If they, if they break it into age groups, I'd love to try, believe me. But even around, you know, locally, I don't win. You would think that with the, the way this sport is growing, mm -hmm. they'll have to do age groups. I think so. They do it all. And you could join the senior games. Yeah, maybe. Look, uh, what is that uh, uh, exercise thing that's still big? 
now has a uh, CrossFit. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, CrossFit started, they have a championship and mm-hmm. they do it through age groups. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't shock me because as that continued to grow, yeah. they started having national championships in each age group. And I can see that happening with pickleball, especially as more and more sponsors come on board. Yeah. Well, you'd mm-hmm. hope, wouldn't you? Like the more uh, you can get out there, more sponsorships available. The sponsorship, the sponsor opportunities are open for. Uh, cardio surgeons, all, all the all orthopedics, your orthopedics the every orthopedic. type of gel you rub on all, yourself on all your back, of those. copper garments, salon pos, <laughs> icy hot, <laughs> walkers, been gay, yeah, all sorts of bandages, ace, mm-hmm. you know, all of those. Insurance agencies are plastered all over pickleball. I'm yeah. sure. I see all these signs out there for insurance agencies. I don't know. I would love to get into it. Our goal eventually is West Palm. That's the uh, <sighs> the mecca. Creme de la creme, go to West Palm once a year. and uh, Or Del Boca. Is it Boca? Maybe it's Boca Raton. Yeah. Anyway, we're down in Boca. Uh-huh. Uh, if we can get down there now, that we would have really made it. And yeah, tonight is the night, so I'm hoping to get kind of revved up. Maybe you can get home and get a nap and then... I am so hell. busy. Right now, my wife's got me running all over town. I'm borrowing our white van today here from the station. Oh, no. She's bought a piece of furniture I've got to go pick up. <laughs> you have really picked the wrong day to boost. <laughs> I don't know what you were doing yesterday. Why don't you just let me start doing this stuff for you? Like just the scheduling, me, the scheduling, because oh, yes. one, you did it on a Monday. Like, how can I make Monday worse? <laughs> it's already Monday. I know. And now today, mm-hmm. which will be the worst day, yes. the worst part, maybe you have all these activities lined up. I do. And uh, look, I don't want to put anyone's business on front street, but haven't you reached the... Um, Income level where they'll deliver the furniture? Yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, you have to show up in that criminal van that I'm may or may you. not run. I'm, you can afford delivery. Thank you, Big. I didn't want to say it blatantly. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. My wife, she just texted me out of the blue yesterday. See, I was supposed to get a booster shot today. I had it scheduled for today. And she said, can you borrow the white van from the station and pick up a piece of furniture you know, tomorrow, meaning today. And I said, well, I've got that booster at 3 o'clock. She goes, I'll reschedule it for you. <laughs> On the scary side of town. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best I could do in short notice. <laughs> That's right. I uh-huh. want that settee. So. <laughs> <laughs> Your GPS is like, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I went to... The wrong side of the tracks <laughs> to get my booster. Did the music stop when you walked through the door? Yeah. They- yeah. <laughs> All the heads stop and turn. Highways that way. <laughs> Sometimes a few of y'all get lost. Yeah. He's dressed too sloppily to be a cop. <laughs> right. Right. And so she, so I say, yeah, I'll do that. And this is the second time I'm going to have to do this now. I'm, it's been timed so that I'm going to pick up this piece of furniture and then swing by and get my daughter from school in, in that way. Oh, man. Now, uh. I, I did that with my son a few years ago. God. And we, we joke about it, mm. but it really is a terrifying looking van. Oh, yeah. Like I, John Wayne Gacy wouldn't climb into that van. <laughs> Let's the, just say we haven't done what's it called upkeep on that. No. At least physically. There's it gonna, runs fine. Does it? Or uh, there may be a family of raccoons in the engine block. <laughs> there could be. Well, the air conditioning's out. The heat is out. I don't know about the up. I'm sure it's okay. I mean, I drive it once a year when I got to pick up a, a love oh, seed or an ottoman. An ottoman, something. I think I don't even know what it is today. She told me, but meet. There's a decorator she likes. She says, meet her at Omega Sports and pick this up. And I said, okay. At a sporting goods store? <laughs> But we're only meeting there because I know where it is. Then we're going back. Oh, into the- yeah. This is this sounds like a handoff. Yeah. Well, who's going to lift this piece of furniture with one hand other than you? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. I just know I'm supposed to be at a certain spot in that white van, and I will be. But when I go to pick up my children at school, the last time I did this, it was my son, and I was picking up his friend Tyler. And Tyler came up to the side of it and said, "Are you serious? <laughs> Am mm-hmm. I getting into this? I mean, I they know. That. Everybody knows." And then I had, it's only two seats in it, so I had to get my son to crawl in the back. Oh, that's right. He'd just kind of roll around in the cargo yeah. area. Yes, exactly. So you know that that raised a lot mm. of eyebrows at that school. It's going to happen again today. So I'm going back there today to do that. I'm all over the place. And, and then I've got, and, and boosted. I have, let me tell you this. I've put off the work that needs to be done on this program, like put up or shut up. I'm woefully behind. I haven't, oh. I haven't written next week's games yet. Normally I'm way ahead on this. Yeah. And no, I'm not even close. 
I don't know if she's listening, but is it time to sit, blame the wife for some of this? She's got me running all over. She's got you running everywhere. She's got me all over. I don't know. I mean, I love her. I love her like a shark loves blood. You know that. But she has got me running all over the place. And then she got me boosted. And What does she say to her friends about you? What's, what's her weird analogy? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. How? I'm not sure what she says. You know. Like a tree loves bark. I mean, some it, bizarre analogy. You know, it used to be too. Uh, the dog sleeps between us, and it used to be that I'd get up in the morning, get my stuff done, come back, I'd go around the bed or climb over the dog to give her a kiss, and recently she's just basically waved me off and said goodbye, you know, love you, goodbye. <laughs> I don't, just dismissed? Yeah. yeah. I don't crawl over, I don't walk around, because it's so pitch black now, I don't walk around anymore, and she just doesn't want, she just gives me the wave, like, have a mm-hmm. good day, and that's it. And I thought, has the magic gone? Yeah, I hope not. Huh? I don't. I don't think. I don't so. think the magic's gone. I think it's just mm-hmm. everyone's comfortable. Yeah, I guess so. Everyone's comfortable. You know, it's like I think in the beginning, it's like, oh, bye, bye, love you. Love oh you. my gosh. Oh, I wish I get up with you and go back to sleep. Now you guys are just so you're like, yeah, I'll see you in six hours. Right. <laughs> it's it, it is. It's a that's how I guess it gets with marriage. I mean, still madly in love. You know that. Mm. Married almost 20 years. We're 19 years this year. Her yeah. birthday's at the end of the week. You know, I, I, Is it still a month-long extravaganza like it used to be? No, see, all that's kind of gone by the wayside. <laughs> it's getting closer to a milestone. That's why. Well, yeah. We well, already, yeah. That, the one the great disappointment is still a year away. Yeah. And uh, you know what I gave her for her birthday? This is nice now. We're getting a, a team to come in and clean the house from top to bottom. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> I suggested it. <laughs> I said, why don't we make a little your- day off for you? <laughs> I said, why don't That's we? It's the get- most passive aggressive birthday gift ever. <laughs> I said, why don't we get someone slacking on the job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, let's get the yeah. merry maids or whatever it is to mm-hmm. come in here, and then oh, I got a book of coupons in the mail. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah. let's pick a restaurant, anyone. Oh. <laughs> and so we have to get out of the house. <laughs> All day on Saturday. It's like it's an eight hour clean, you know. Wow. Yeah. So there's the top to bottom. They're cleaning the house. And they said, You gotta get out the first part of the day. So I just scheduled a pickleball tournament. So I'm driving. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Where's she going? I don't know. I don't, we're not sure. We're not sure where she's going to go. But so that's that's what I've got going okay. on. That's that's next Saturday. This Saturday doing something else. Next Saturday. So anyway, it's just go, go, go. And I feel like for the first time in the twenty three year history year history of this show. I've neglected my own work. I have neglected things mm-hmm. here. And it's like, man. And I just read an article from a mentor that said, if you're not putting in the work, you're falling woefully behind. If you don't get there, get it done, you are going to lose. You're going to lose in the battle, the great radio mm-hmm. battle that is waged every single day. Minute to minute. Minute to minute. You've got to put in more and more time. You've got to get it done. And yet, here I have slacked off. At mm-hmm. least the first, I'd say the last month i've been slacking off biggie's probably a month i'd say i'd say i'm paying too much attention to pickleball the gym Mm. those kinds of things you know it's just it's 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 catching up with me on this job and i have to apologize to this audience you've probably noticed a no (laughs) a steep decline in equality you might have noticed a decline in my probably not in my performance on this (laughs) program I don't know if you've noticed that decline, but, man, it's possible. There's something today, too, this is about getting a booster shot. I found this interesting because I think I've bought at least two of these things during the pandemic. They are uh, things people say they regret buying most during the pandemic. One of them was an air fryer, but I really like the air fryer. I My, have, I've enjoyed that. I bought one mm-hmm. several months ago, and I have to say mm-hmm. that couldn't be more right about me. You regret I'd still it. in the it's in it. the wrap. Yeah, I thinking about selling it. Well, uh-huh. I, now the pressure cooker that's also the slow cooker I have used and I enjoy. Now that's the opposite for me. I bought the pressure cooker that I don't ever use, mm. but the air fryer we use a lot, just even for like warming up. Leftover pizza is really well. Good. I'll tell you, I think some of the issue with the air fryer for me mm-hmm. is I'm not eating the same things I was when I bought it. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to eat a little more healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't put black beans in an air fryer. You don't no. put brown rice in an air fryer. Well, when did you buy it? <sighs> I think if I, I think I bought it in July, June or July. Of this year? Yeah. So you had a few months and you never got it out of It's a... still sitting in the, I mean, it's still wrapped up. I could probably sell it today. The big thing was uh, home gym equipment. 
already mm. people who have bought the Pelotons and whatnot are not using them. I know several people mm -hmm. who bought a Peloton at the start of this and were like, well, if I can't go to the gym, mm -hmm. I'm doing it in my mind. And I look, I know I'm fat, but I know these people. I'm going, y'all didn't go to the gym. Yeah. So they're not going <laughs> anywhere or they're just not using the Peloton. They're not using the Peloton. Yeah. They bought it. Their, their gym. I Do you predict that gym memberships go up even more than usual in January? Yes. You, you think they'll, people will go back to the gym? Because I know Peloton sold a ton. All of those... Mm -hmm. you know, the mirror and all those things sold a ton while we were down for pandemic. But I felt like that was just the modern day equivalent of the old treadmill that you buy or a stationary bike that you buy yeah. that nobody uses. Mm -hmm. you it know, is. That becomes just a place where you hang old clothes. And now I wonder, but it does say that that is, that was number one is home gym equipment bought during the pandemic. Now maybe people are going back to the gym or, or just giving just up. Giving up. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people may put off till January. It's all right, January I'm, Either going to get, get through yeah, the holidays, get, get through the holiday, get either get back on the Peloton or go to the gym. One or the other. Uh, now, now my friend Trent still rides his Peloton bike every day. He bought it a year ago, mm -hmm. and he claims he he rides it every single day. I'm sure some people absolutely do, mm -hmm. but I would bet number. I totally agree with the number one. Yeah, tools too. Like I'm going to do a lot of stuff around the house. People mm -hmm. bought new tools during the pandemic. Not this show. No. No. God. Oh my God. There's a whole segment on this show today about people doing great things in the outdoors i teased it i put down there oh great things done in the mm -hmm. outdoors and i thought i don't believe we've ever had a tease like that <laughs> no. Mm -mm. No. in the history i mean 23 years now on i don't think we've ever said that and do you know this week i'm just thinking about my own stuff i'm so busy this week. i've got a dentist appointment on uh thursday and uh, i am flossed in six months Ugh. i hadn't had time to floss I haven't had time to floss. I have not. You can do that before bed. I have not had time to floss in six. It's the months. worst memoir title ever. I <laughs> have not had time to floss. So I'm going to have to go to the drugstore. I should have bought it at the drug. Oh yeah, the scary side of town. Yeah. I, I don't know though. I had to get out of there as soon as possible. <laughs> the pharmacist says, "Can you wait 15 minutes?" I said, "No." <laughs> Slowly watching the sun go down out the window. No, no, no. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta go. <laughs> he said, "Can you wait?" Can you cram six months of flossing into 72 hours? I'm going to have to. It's Thursday's the appointment, and I just can't have the dentist looking in my mouth and uh -huh. see all that mm -mm. blood. And I'm, I'm once again, I've started praying that I can just get through this one without a cavity. Because if I have a cavity, my son. At age 50. If I have a cavity at age 50, my son will never let me hear the end of it. Because I rode him so hard when he had three cavities a couple of years ago. Then I came back with two, and he. I'll never forget. He crushed mm -hmm. me on that. Right. He'll never forget that. So I can't let that happen. So I got to get to flossing today. Sounds like a lot of dry toothbrushes in that house. A lot. <laughs> mm. I mean, I've been. I brush real hard. That's but, not. We're supposed. That's worse for your mouth. Yeah. You know? I know. I feel like my gums are bad. I. I just really feel like this is going to be a really bad appointment coming up. There was a girl. This comes along with Halloween and is also a, a health note. A four-year-old girl in Australia actually, and this is the first note of this in recorded history had to go to the doctor had to go to the emergency room with a a hole burned in her tongue she's four years old her name is willow wright she ate 10 warheads those really really sour candies and it ate away at her tongue and made a divot in it i guess you would say when i was a kid i loved those things i couldn't get enough of them I, they're they're so intensely sour my son used to love them they're so sour, they burn when you yeah, put them in. You know, they that, really do. They're that kind of sour. I mean, it's like, uh, uh, I mean, it's the most, I can't even, you've never had one of them. No. If you put that in your mouth, it stings, it it hurts, and it makes your jaws clench that up. That feeling? That feeling, yes. The mom says she blames herself. She was working. She's working from home upstairs and left her four-year-old downstairs with her seven-year-old brother, and they both got into the candy. And the four-year-old ate 10 warheads, and they literally had to take her to the doctor. This is the mom, the girl, and a dentist talking about it. Mommy, 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 my tongue is really sore and it really hurts. It feels like skin was coming off. I burst into tears because I was really worried. I, I was never seen this before. He did say that we were very lucky because the tongue is the fastest healing in the body. Sour warhead lollies in particular can be very dangerous. They've got high levels of acid. The lollies have a similar pH level to hydrochloric acid. Products with this level of acid or pH can cause chemical burns to the cheeks, to the tongue. We do see a lot of trauma and we see a lot of damage that can be done to 
to teeth and to gum from sour lollies. I just wanted to make it aware to parents that how dangerous these lollies actually are. I do love the accents that they're using. And the fact like, that a grown man has to use the word lolly. 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 <laughs> I think advantage U.S. Normally, I would give advantage Australia with their slang, with their accent, yes, with their words. But with lollies, we win on that one. Zach, you're talking about these sour candies now. Go ahead. All right, this is about uh, Sour Patch Kids. I ate um, two dollar packs back to back one time, and I felt like my tongue was a little bit raw, so I took a paper towel and dabbed on it, and those things literally made my tongue start bleeding. Ah. Oh, uh, uh. Lord, I'm not surprised. I mean, hearing this, you'd think that no candy would do that. But hearing this, he says the acid level in it. That dentist said the mm. acid level in it. Did you not eat them again after that? Oh, no, I still eat them, just not as many. Yeah, oh, I'm going to cut back. <laughs>